Now, how exactly will the future masters of the planet look like? This will be decided by the people who own the data. Those who control the data control the future not just of humanity, but the future of life itself. In the last two centuries, machinery replaced land as the most important asset. And if too many of the machines became concentrated in too few hands, humanity split into classes, into capitalists and proletariats. And if too much of the data becomes concentrated in too few hands, humanity will split not into classes, it will split into species. We have reached the point when we can hack not just computers, we can hack human beings and other organisms. Now what do you need in order to hack a human being? You need two things. You need a lot of computing power and you need a lot of data, especially biometric data. Organisms are algorithms. Now, when the two revolutions merge, when the infotech revolution merges with the biotech revolution, what you get is the ability to hack human beings. You can create algorithms that know me better than I know myself. And humans really don't know themselves very well. In 10 or 20 years, when an algorithm can tell any teenager exactly where he or she is on the gayest rate spectrum, the algorithm tracks your eye movements, your blood pressure, your brain activity, tells you who you are. And even if you walk away, and even if you keep hiding from your classmates or from yourself, you will not be able to hide from Amazon and Alibaba and the secret police. Once we have algorithms that can understand me better than I understand myself, they could predict my desires, manipulate my emotions, and even take decisions on my behalf. We are used to thinking about democracy and dictatorship in ethical or political terms, but actually these are two different methods to process information. And if democracy cannot adapt to these new conditions, the humans will come to live under the rule of digital dictatorships. The US, for example, is building a global surveillance system, while my home country of Israel is trying to build a total surveillance regime in the West Bank. By hacking organisms, elites may gain the power to re-engineer the future of life itself. Not the intelligent design of some god above the clouds. What are you gonna do?